Okay, this is Tuesday, September the 27th, 2011, Organic Chemistry 1 Lab at UTEP. My name is Ali Marsegli. I'm here with my lab partners, Chris Garcia and Guillermo Campos. And our experiment today is distillation, and our particular experiment is vacuum distillation. And as you can see, we have the setup here. I'm going to describe the materials that we used, and Guillermo is going to point out as I am talking here. So the first thing, of course, that you need is a distillation kit, which we have over here. And that contains all the materials that you're going to need for your experiment. Of course, you can see that it's empty right now because we're using a lot of the materials for the experiment. So this is the experimental setup, and these are the things that we're using. Uh, we have a heating well, which Guillermo's going to point to here. Uh, we also have a thermometer, which Guillermo's going to point to there. We also have a 100 milliliter round bottom flask, which is going to be our pot. That's what the uh, compound that we're going to try to distill from is going to be put into. We also have a distillation head, which is attached to the pot. We also have a thermometer adapter, which is attached to the distillation head. Next, we have the clamps, which are going to be used to hold our flasks. You notice on the other side here, we have another clamp and another flask, which is called our receiver flask. That's where the distillation is going to go into, and we have our distillate. You notice also uh, attaching the two flasks is what we call a condenser. And attached to those we have two rubber hoses. One of which we leave open the other ends, that's where the water is going to flow through. The other is attached, as you can see, to a water faucet. That's going to help with our vacuum process. You'll also notice that attached to the receiver flask is what we call the aspirator tube. That's going to create our main vacuum there and we have that attached to our white and black aspirator which is attached to another water faucet that's going to create our main vacuum. So to set this experiment up, the first thing you're going to do for our experiment we're using benzaldehyde and we're going to use 20 milliliters of that, we're putting that into our pot and as soon as we add that we're going to add also three porous boiling chips to help with our distillation process. Then as you can see we clamped the flasks to each stand, and once you clamp the flask, you attach the distillation head, the thermometer adapter, and the thermometer. The next thing you're going to do is clamp the receiver flask, which in our case we used a 250 milliliter one, because that was the next smallest one that we had, to the other clamp stand. Then you're going to attach the vacuum adapter to that, which is that apparatus there. Then what you're going to do is attach the condenser to both the distillation head and the vacuum adapter. Guillermo, if you don't mind pointing those out. And what you need to do before you make all the attachments is to make sure that each end is greased a little bit because the, since the experiment is going to be using heat, if you don't make sure that they're greased well, they're going to end up getting sort of fused together and you won't be able to separate them at the end of the experiment. So since you saw we attached the rubber hoses to the condenser and also to the receiver flask and the aspirator and the faucet, Then the next thing we're going to do is attach a ring clamp, which if you lower it, you're going to be able to see it underneath the heating well there. That's going to hold the heating well. Then you put the heating well on top of that. And the next thing you need to do is make sure to lower the pot or actually raise the heating well until the pot is actually touching the cloth interior of it. Because otherwise the experiment won't heat up fast enough and you'll be in the lab for a long time. The next thing you're going to do then is your experiment now is completely set up. So the next thing to do is you're going to detach this rubber hose here. Then what you're going to do is turn on your aspirator, the water, and you're going to test the end of the aspirator tube to make sure you've got a good suction to it. Then when you're sure you've got a good suction, you reattach it back to the receiving flask. Once that is done, you plug in the heating well to turn it on and you wait until it starts boiling. And what you're gonna do is record the temperature, which is of course degrees Celsius, when you see your first drop of distillate into the receiver flask. And then when the experiment has stabilized, you record the temperature again. And what you're gonna do is you're gonna use this for a graph you're gonna do for your lab report. You're also going to look up the boiling point for benzaldehyde. You're also going to look up the atmospheric pressure of your location. And you're going to use those in creating a nomograph of your experiment to show your results. And the 
main re reason that we're doing this is to see how good our aspirator is.